and to show a preview of what the search experience can become when the browser enables it to use the whole PC, please welcome Jeff Henshaw of the Bing team. Thanks, Dean. Looks fantastic. Thank you, everybody. At Bing, we are passionate about re-envisioning search. And we're driven by a belief and observation that in today's complex world, sometimes 10 blue links, no matter how fast they're rendered, are not enough to help you solve the complex tasks and make some of the harder decisions that you're trying to make. So we've looked at IE9 and discovered an entirely new suite of tools to help us turn search into a richer experience than it's ever been before. It begins with some of the fantastic Windows integration that Dean showed earlier. We've built into Bing one button access to any of the Bing experiences that you might want to link directly to, like weather, finance, or travel. But for today's search, I'd actually like to start out with the Bing homepage. It's become famous and loved by tens of millions of people every day as a place to come and see a beautiful curated photo and explore your world in new and interesting ways. With IE9, we've been able to leverage HTML5 and the built-in support for the video tag to take that homepage experience to an entirely new place. In the future, people will be able to come to bing.com and see not only still images, but video. And thanks to the support for the canvas tag, we've also explored ways of doing exciting new things with still images. In this case, we partnered with Microsoft Research to take an enormous JPEG and use hover spots to give users the ability to dynamically zoom in and out on different aspects of the picture, give you a new way to explore it. All of this was done with less than a day of coding. That's the type of experience that IE9 enables. So let's begin a search. Let's start out with this fine city that we're in, San Francisco. In the old days, the act of searching was a series of jarring transitions. But thanks to IE's support for CSS3 and a wicked fast JavaScript engine, we're able to integrate the experiences and actually blend the home page, the search results page, and your navigation of pages into a seamless experience that feels more like a native application. One of the investments that we've made in Bing is delivering the concept of tabs across the top of the page that allow you to explore some of the rich categories of results. And you'll see that navigation amongst these tabs has the same smooth HTML5 hardware accelerated benefits uh, that the home page did. In the past, this was all done through Ajax. And Ajax tended to confuse browsers pretty badly because the concept of the back button didn't preserve state adequately to actually provide a good navigation experience. The IE9 team has fixed that. So now, navigating with the back button will actually traverse us back through those tabs with exactly the same elegant transition. It's a huge, a huge, huge benefit for web developers. Um, we want to take these experiences beyond just graphical sizzle and actually really begin to change the way that people interact with their search provider. In the past, when I scrolled the page, you immediately lost those important tabs to help you explore more of the results. In IE9, when you scroll, we'll on the fly fold up that header and retain those tabs at the top. And you can see that we even dynamically blend the home page image. So you've always got an anchor to help you navigate through the rest of your experience. In doing that, though, screen real estate, of course, becomes precious. Every web developer is sensitive to the number of vertical pixels that they're trying to keep above the fold or above the bottom of the browser. IE9 and HTML5 have enabled us to do something really cool here. You'll notice that we've got one line web results captions visible at the bottom of the screen. But as I scroll vertically, we use HTML5 to dynamically unfold those web results and truly maximize our use of screen real estate in an incredibly elegant way. In addition to those 10 blue links looking fantastic, better than they ever have before, some of the rich content that Bing provides, like weather results, also looks vibrant and new. No longer is it just static arrays or columns of numbers. We're actually giving you a dynamic peak with a rich experience into what the weather actually looks like in San Francisco today. And the weather looks good. You know, our temperatures are high 60s. It's partly sunny. 
But that video of the beach that we saw on that first screen really makes me want to get away for a tropical vacation. So let's, let's hit Bing with a nightmare search engine query. One word, no context. The search engine has absolutely no idea what I actually want to do. Am I booking a vacation? Am I researching? No search engine knows. But Bing is going to do a fantastic result under IE9 of giving me a good set of interesting algorithmic results, but also giving me one entirely new experience. And that is the ability to visualize data in ways that I've never been able to do before. On the fly using pure web technologies. No downloads, no plugin, no plugin instantiation lag. We just downloaded the set of some of the most popular beaches in the world. With one click, I can begin to filter that large set of over 400 down to some of the more interesting ones. I can apply some filters over here on the left. Maybe I want to go snorkeling. I like to do a little bit of swimming. That's starting to filter the set down a little bit. Uh, it's September, and I'd actually like to leave directly from here to the beach, so let's go ahead and find beaches that are nice to visit in September. And now we've got a list that looks about manageable. On other search properties and in older browsers, as soon as I clicked one of these results, I completely lost my view of the rest of the data set. Under IE9, when I click a result, we're actually going to preserve that view of the data set by folding up the other results into a ribbon that I've always got one click access to and will display the details in line as screen real estate affords. And thanks to the power of HTML5 and using the entire PC to drive my experience, I can click an image and with built-in support in IE9, I've got a truly beautiful hardware accelerated photo slideshow that required very, very little development investment. Um, when Dean first saw this, he dared me to right click on this experience and prove that there is no plugin being used here. It is the web pop-up. These are all web technologies. So on the Bing team, we're thrilled to have the opportunity to leverage a new platform like IE9, the power of hardware accelerated, hardware accelerated HTML, CSS3, a lightning fast JavaScript engine, and great integration with the Windows desktop. Uh, we've made such great progress with this that we're actually going to be rolling this out in a preview form within a month so that you can begin to explore it and experience it yourself as well. We look forward to having you enjoy the experiences. Thanks again to the IE team for a great platform.